Hey my bowl of cereal, before I get into things, I just want to say that my microphone died. I don't know how it happened, it just happened. I know it's tragic, but as stated in his will, he's getting a very expensive funeral. He's not! So while I'm also using my phone as a camera, now I'm also using it as a microphone. All that aside though, I know about you, but I sure am sick and tired of minimum wage food service workers being treated like absolute shit, or a tool just to gain some TikTok clout. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I strongly believe that food service is probably the most underpaid and mentally draining job out there. Very close to teachers, nurses, and social workers. But there's just this one element that gives it the golden medal in the my job turns me dead inside because of societal values category. And that's that outside of all the previously mentioned factors, no matter what restaurant, no matter what bar, store, you'll always have some people that'll just treat you like garbage. And there's nothing you can do about it because if you retaliate, you'll just be fired by the soul crushing company you're working for. Now why am I telling you all this? See, a few days ago, a video starring five of UK's brightest teenagers where they uh, made McDonald's workers their job a living hell went viral. And unlike many other YouTubers who wanted to go easy on them because they're just little kids, I'm going to treat them like the little bitches they are. See, while I usually have more empathy for the mistakes of children, there are still lines that you just don't cross, even when you're just a kid. Don't do it! Don't you fucking dare! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> so let's watch this viral video and fill ourselves up with pure rage. Walk into the back of McDonald's again! Let's go to the so, um, already by the loud and obnoxious clicking and barely comprehensible English, you can presume that these intelligent and mature UK citizens are, uh, going to respectfully enter this fine McDonald's establishment to brighten up everyone's day. And I'm sure England can use it, since they're basically living in God's permanent shower. Let's go, let's check the inspection. It's the mid inspection. I'm a white from the right. Let's check the inspection. I'm walking, I'm walking. Let's check the inspection. Thank you very much. Standing there. Fuck, I think I got a splinter. I don't know who I should be annoyed with the most, the kid holding the camera who just ran behind the counter, or the other degenerate constantly screaming INSPECTION! INSPECTION! on repeat like a toddler who just learned a new word and treats it like it's the only word it has ever known. These kids just seem to need constant sensory overload. It's it's fucking insane. Inspection! Inspection! Crazy, crazy, crazy! I have to check the inspection. I have to check the fries and everything. Let's check the inspection. Well, I to check everything Let's check just the Like imagine you're just doing your job, hoping that for one day you won't get a crazy customer, and then come these kids screaming. Check the inspection. Check Let's the inspection. Get it in. Which, by the way, how the fuck are you going to check the inspection? The inspection itself is the entire process of checking if everything's okay and in order. Are we now doing checks for the inspection? What's next? Is my teacher going to grade the accuracy of my grade? They locked us in it! They locked us in it! Locked us in it. Bro, my Open legs the were door. switching, my legs were sinking, my heart was bum 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 Oh my god, do they have to reinvent the most annoying sound in the world every single second? I, I, I can't describe how this two second section just fueled me with more rage and frustration than after having watched three hours of plush universe. Call the police, call the police. Sexual harassment, sexual harassment. <laughs> I'm I'm recording this. I'm recording this. Okay, so there are several very problematic things to unpack here. First of all, you're like 14 or 15, even though you look 12, and you're recording yourself saying you'll fake sexual harassment, potentially ruining the entire livelihood of a person. And then freely posted it on the internet? Well, good luck with your college application. And secondly, again, with the constant fucking background noises, see, I get that you need about 50% of your peripheral vision taken up by subway surfers, and then 
about 30% being taken up by rerun of Family Guy episodes, and the remaining 20% be douche tuber talking about how he hides his micro penis behind his collection of expensive cars. But what the hell are you going to do later in life with the attention span that's lower than that of a goldfish? Hey girl, bro, call me. You might as well get my number, bro. Hey, uh, you just walked in. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, oh, I thought I had an annoying mosquito on my face. Gee, I wonder why in modern society less and less adults want children and birth rates are plummeting. Man, I feel so bad for her, like, she just seems like a decent person doing her job and now she has to tell these kids what they're doing isn't right because their parents somehow just couldn't be bothered teaching them some basic human respect moral and values. All the while this one kid is emitting a constant stream of dumbass noise. What? Can I talk to you? I hear my This guy's the Why you do? 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 Why you Seriously, kid, if you're watching this, I'll stoop down to your level and I challenge you to a slapping competition. If I can slap out your braces in one big slap, I win. And if I lose, I'll delete my entire YouTube channel. Open the door! Open the door! Oh yeah, <laughs> nothing screams I'm so cool and popular than unironically using the open the door shit post from Breaking Bad in... Uh, 2023. Yes. Yeah, it's the first time. It's the first time. Why you have to come inside the fucking inside the store, fucker? Why shaking? Huh? Why are you getting angry? Yeah. Why are you getting mad? Did you really think you could work at McDonald's without constantly having five dumbass kids? Holder, who is the most insecure and can hide it by acting tough contest in the employee area? I empathize deeply with this manager. I mean, he's just shaking from what I imagine to be anger, frustration, panic, but also just straight disbelief and disappointment to see five snot-nosed losers act like this. Oh, so you're gonna let us go or you're just gonna stay here? Because the, I'm gonna tell the police that you strangled me because you strangled my neck. I have video, I have, I have video footage of you strangling my uh, neck. It's the teenagers. Yeah, you never strangled my neck. But I just said like you struggled yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if the police are going to trust you on your word after you post a video of yourself admitting you'll be lying to them on the internet. Or maybe he'll just threaten the police officer as well, saying that he'll make fake claims of sexual harassment against them. Yeah, they'll work out just fine. No, I'm 14. I'm 13 as well. They're actually 13 and 14? What the f- Yeah, I did some dumb shit during my teens, like growing irreparable trust issues when getting scanned in RuneScape for the 20th time, but these kids are just straight up speedrunning lifelong embarrassments. Never in my life would I have had the audacity to do something like this, no matter my age. But I guess that when you're growing up learning your life values from an iPad, this is a pretty common result. So eventually the cops do arrive and while I'd love to see them cry for their parents while they're being put in the back of the cop car, that's not what happens. Are you mad? We got freed, we got freed. Bow, bow, the fence game, bow. Now that's the second time we hear that clicking. Do you remember that shit post from 2017 everyone found like hilarious for a week but then just turned into straight degeneracy? You got the knuckles. That was it, yeah. Do you know the way? Well, I guess these dudes are just unironically using that as a symbol of recognition, putting fear in every respectable McDonald's employee. So yeah, you can laugh all you want, and sure you escape the cops, but never forget what you truly are. An overrated shitpost from 2017's VR chat. We seem to be at this crossroads in society where children are getting too influenced by every form of media around them. And there's no real stopping it, because if you as a parent completely cut them off from the online world, 
they'll just be bullied outcasts in school. But then you have kids like this who clearly have zero moderation by their parents when it comes to accessing online content and as a result grow up to become complete losers. Oh and this isn't a one time occurrence by the way, it's been happening more and more lately. This is like a one week old video about kids in Australia basically doing the same thing. They're just strolling through fast food restaurants, stealing shit, touching everything, with employees screaming at them to get out, even though they're not nearly getting paid enough to have to deal with this shit. Now I know I was directing myself towards the kids quite a lot during this video, and while they definitely hold some responsibility themselves, since they're old enough to sense a bit of what's right and wrong, it's obviously also their parents' fault. They probably just cannot be bothered giving 5 minutes of attention to their kid when they misbehave and instead just throw a device with TikTok on it their way, so they can watch more of this content. And this content. Oh, I know that guy, he's from another one of my videos that I'll link over here. This is a problem that'll most likely worsen over time since these are the first generations growing up like this. Now imagine how they will parent their children later, which just sets off this entire generational domino effect that's already been set in motion since our attention span has gone from an average of 12 seconds back in the year 2000 to just 8 seconds today. Uh, to put that in perspective, the average goldfish has an attention span of 9 seconds. So high five for all the goldfish who made it this far into my video, and don't forget to like and subscribe using your fins. Now if you enjoyed this video, please stare at the like button with pure fascination for as long as possible, and thank you for subscribing to become part of my bowl of cereal so I can absorb all of your fibers and nutrients. And for the people who disliked it, well you're lucky since today isn't opposite day. So please press that dislike button, I beg of you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I'll be sterilizing myself as a result of these dumbass kids running wild.